I broke my back. What do you mean by that? You broke my back, back is broken. What uh, a vertebrae or, or well, what portion? Spinal. And now, ladies and gentlemen in attendance, and boxing fans joining us around the world. It's showtime. Welcome to Big Faces Worldwide, where we talk in nothing but this boxing man. What's good, fam? Hey, listen, man. First off, I want to welcome everybody to the channel. If you're new here, I want you to be here. So think about hitting that subscribe button as we stay knee deep into this boxing conversation, man. Listen, man, there's been a lot of talk lately, man, about uh, Canelo Alvarez uh, possibly fighting Sergey Kovalev. Now, we know Sergey Kovalev had a big win, a uh, big knockout victory this past weekend over Anthony Yard, man, um, in which I think was a very, very competitive fight, man, but one that, you know, Kovalev no doubt was winning. Um, you know, he had a very uh, rough couple of rounds in there, but, you know, other than that, man, um, Kovalev looked at very good, man. Kovalev showed in this fight against Yard some things that he has not shown in the past, man, and that is a second win man um you know training with buddy mcgirt has been the best thing to happen to sergey kovalev man and and in combination with him listening to buddy mcgirt man um buddy mcgirt was giving him some very very solid advice in that fight man and kovalev actually uh, was listening man going there, going out there executing um, the game plan as Buddy McGirt laid it out, man. So I got to give Sergey Kovalev a lot of credit, man, for changing his game, man, um, for elevating his game and, um, you know, showing that he can put it into another gear because, you know, up until this point, you know, in the second half of the fight, you know, we have seen Kovalev run out of gas. We have seen a lot of excuses from Kovalev, you know, saying that he's overtrained. He, you know, he did this wrong. He did that wrong. But in this fight, man, I seen Sergey Kovalev do something that I didn't think he can. And that is dig deep. You understand what I'm saying? Sergey Kovalev was able to dig deep, overcome that eighth round where he was about to be stopped and come back and to give the performance that I, I think of his career. You understand what I'm saying? Kovalev was, was laying it all on the line in his hometown. I'm sure that had a lot to do with it. You know, um, being that it was in his hometown, he did not want to go out like that, man. But hats off to Sergey Kovalev. He did his thing, man. Anthony Yard, you know, he looked it good, too. He made a, a, um, a real good showing of himself. You know, he has nothing to hang his head 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 about, man. Um, but his trainer did a lot of talking before the fight. Tunde Ajaya, he did a lot of talking before the fight. And, um, you know, because of this, you know, Anthony Yard is catching some flack um, because of Tunde's words. You understand what I'm saying? But I think, you know, Anthony Yard has a bright future, man. I do think he needs to make some adjustments in camp, man. Um, I don't think that he'll get rid of Tunde Ajaya. But, you know, if he can bring somebody else in or if he can just start to implement um, some some things that you know they said they didn't do like sparring and you know not doing so much pad work but you know other things that normal boxers do man um you know i think he'll be fine man but um uh you know after the fight you know he said he wanted the canelo fight canelo wanted to fight him before this fight but this fight was so far along that um you know it was impossible to make um you know kovalev had committed to fighting yard you know it was in his hometown he didn't want to let his hometown fans um down so he decided to you know uh you know go ahead with the yard fight but you know they're looking at a november 2nd date man and it was first thought that you know kovalev didn't want that day because it would be too soon that's like 10 weeks away and um you know he did take some very heavy shots in that eighth round seven and eighth round um you know and uh you know with a 10-week turnaround can kovalev realistically get back into uh peak condition to fight canelo alvarez man and obviously he thinks he can his team thinks he can kathy duva who is the uh promoter for main events so great kovalev's promoter 
Um, she's she's come out to debunk all the rumors that Kovalev turned down the November date. They are very much interested in um, fighting Canelo Alvarez, man. It would be for the biggest payday of his career, man. Um, but as of yet, um, Golden Boy, they have not got back into negotiations with uh, Sergey Kovalev, man. Now, the question is, I'm hearing a lot of people saying this is a cherry pick. Canelo's cherry picking Kovalev, man. You know, that's the most bullshit statement that I have ever heard in my life. Sergey Kovalev is a very big guy who punches very hard and can really, really box, man. Now we've seen in the past guys that 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 can box well, can move well, give Canelo problems. You know what I'm saying? Laura gave Canelo problems. Floyd. Um, gave Canelo problems. Austin Trout gave Canelo problems, man. And um, Kovalev can move. You know, Kovalev can move. He can box. He got a, as we've seen in the yard fight, he got one of the best jabs in the business. You know what I'm saying? And if he stick that jab out there to uh, uh, Canelo, you know, it may be a long night, man. You know, uh, we've seen how big Rocky Fielding was to Canelo Alvarez. I believe Kovalev is bigger than Rocky Fielding, man. Um, Canelo, Canelo will have um, a lot of trouble trying to get past Kovalev's long, stiff, hard jab. He knocked Anthony Yard out with the jab. Now, granted, Anthony Yard was exhausted, but he stopped him with the jab. You know, and he has he throws it out there a lot, man. And it's fluent, it's hard, and it's it means he mean business with it. You know what I'm saying? I don't think this fight will be as easy as people think for Canelo Alvarez, man. I think Sergey Kovalev is a big challenge for Canelo Alvarez. A fight that I'm not sure Canelo Alvarez can win. You know what I'm saying? Um, when you jump up two weight classes, man. Um, you know, like people always say, I know it's a little cliche, but there is weight classes for a reason, man. You know what I'm saying? And Sergey Kovalev, man, um, he may come in that ring, you know, weighing 185, 190 pounds come fight night. You know, um, if Canelo try to do a catch weight, you know, will fans go for that? I don't I don't think so. I don't think, you know, if he if he if he drains Kovalev down, I don't think the fans will buy into it, will give him the credit that, that he's looking for. If you think back to the Julio um, Chavez uh, uh, Jr. fight, when he when he brought, you know, brought Chavez down, drained him, you know, um, you know, Chavez looked it terrible, and it made for a terrible fight. The fans were upset, you know what I'm saying? They didn't like it. We, we didn't enjoy the fight. Do we want to see, you know, that type of fight? You know, will we give Canelo full credit for beating a drained Kovalev no I think he you know he wants to win the title and to do that man the fight gotta be at one 175 man I think um you know Canelo is a beast he is one of the best fighters um in the world right now you know what I'm saying I'm not saying you know Kovalev can beat him I'm not saying that he can't I'm saying that it's a good fight it's not a cherry pick it's not a cakewalk for Canelo Alvarez. It is a serious, a serious fight for Canelo Alvarez, man. Um, one that, you know, um, him and his team need to really think about, man. And to, you know, think about that Canelo is the one who sought after Sergey Kovalev. You have to give him credit for that. You have to admire the kahunas on Canelo Alvarez, man, for calling out the crusher who was crushing people for years in the light heavyweight division, who nobody wanted to fight in the light heavyweight division, man. You understand what I'm saying? Kovalev got a body in the ring, man. Kovalev punches very, very hard. Canelo Alvarez understands that Sergey Kovalev is weak to the body. And he thinks that's his key to victory, which it just may be. It just may be, man. But Canelo got to get past that stiff, hard jab of Kovalev, man. We seen Anthony Yard when he finally, the light bulb finally went off in his head. And he finally decided to go to the body in the seventh round. You know, we seen the effect 
that it had on Sergey Kovalev. We've seen with Andre Ward went to the body, the effect it had on Sergey Kovalev. We've seen with a later Alvarez went to the body, the effect it had on Sergey Kovalev. And if Canelo Alvarez can get to that body of Sergey Kovalev, I think, you know, it's, it's, it's quite possible that he can stop him. You know, Canelo Alvarez is a very, very good uh, body puncher. He's a great body puncher. You know, vicious body punchers. I mean, his glove disappears in, in, in the size of his opponents that he hits them so hard. You understand what I'm saying? But he got to get in there. He got to get past Kovalev's jab, man. And, and, and that's the big question. Can he get around that jab to work that body, man? You know, um, I think it's a great fight, one that I will be looking forward to seeing if it gets made. I hope it gets made, man. We'll see in, um, I guess, in the, in the next day. They, they're going to do it. They got to announce it in the next week or two. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, they got to get right back in the camp, man. Um, as of now, I have not heard anything about uh, um, Golden Boy. You know, they said Golden Boy has not re restarted, um, you know, restarted the negotiations for the fight man so you know maybe they're having second thoughts maybe not um but we'll see man uh we, we, we will see man but listen man i appreciate y'all tuning in man like i said this is big faces worldwide if you're yet to subscribe what you waiting on fam fam hit that subscribe button catch me on twitter catch me on social media at big faces worldwide all one word and if you you know if you feel that you want to donate to your boy donate to the channel man um you the, the the links are at the bottom of the screen man go ahead and donate to your boy um it'll be much appreciated but if you there's no obligation to do so but i appreciate y'all man in the meantime and in between time stay blessed and keep on supporting this sport that we love call boxing peace i'll holler back